uma gameplay de Life is Strange Before the Storm. Opa, para alguns que me sabem, alguns que prestaram atenção, teve a Square Enix fez o lançamento, é, lançamento não, a divulgação do Life is Strange True Colors, que vai lançar até o fim do ano, mais ou menos. E, então nós vamos recapitular jogando o jogo que seria o número zero, o Life is Strange Before the Storm. É a história da Chloe, da Chloe, que é a melhor amiga da Max, mas esses, essa, essa história se passa antes do primeiro jogo, algumas semanas antes, talvez um mês, e conta o um mistério que aconteceu com a Amber. Vocês vão se, to se vocês vão prestar atenção, cada cada noite eu vou fazer um capítulo até zerar e depois faremos Life is Strange, o original. E depois eu talvez possa fazer o 3, o Life is Strange 2, que é com os irmãos, o Sean. Só que tem um problema, existem cenas muito fortes que talvez o YouTube me barre. Então, vamos fazer pouco a pouco, beleza? Então vamos começar, esse é o capítulo 0. Vamos começar com o despertar. Vamos começar, iniciar. Vamos lá. Vamos começar. Esse pode falar que é um dos grandes, grandes estilos indie que tem, né, dos jogos. A trilha sonora é muito boa, tem muitas bandas alternativas de indie rock. Daughter, Sean, tem J-Lo, são muito bons. Então vamos e aproveitem Life is Strange. E não se esqueçam, por favor, pessoal, sigam as nossas redes sociais. Blog Área 53, no Facebook, Instagram, Twitter e YouTube, onde vocês estão vendo essa apresentação incrível. Vamos começar? sempre foi essa garota alternativa e tal. Interessante que ele mostra o começo, né? Alguns eventos antes da Max aparecer e é onde começa o Life Strange. Vamos lá. O jogo é simples, é escolhas, o que você fizer de certo ou errado você vai se ferrar. No trespassing. No way. Então, é, é o que é, é basicamente a vida. Você pode decidir e sempre vai ter consequências. Seja consequências boas ou consequências ruins. Holy shit. This place is awesome. E se passa na. If I'm gonna get inside, I'll have to get through that door. Numa cidade chamada Arcade, é, Arcade Bay. E. That saw looks ancient. I wonder how long ago the mill actually closed. Isso passa no noroeste americano. Perto do Canadá, here. mais ou menos no estado. Seria o Wisconsin. Ou. Seattle, ou nós, é, Wisconsin, onde é Seattle, né? Seattle é no estado de Wisconsin. Não sei, é, é mais ou menos perto da cidade de Seattle. It's not a bad fake, kid, but you're in over your head here. Do yourself a favor and scram. Can't let him push me around. Should I go back and stand up to him? I'd join a motorcycle gang if I had any friends. Nothing says badass like a nice floral print. E a, a Chloe tem esse ar de sarcástica na história que é totalmente o oposto da Max, sabe? Se eu 
Ela é mais descolada. Ela usa palavrões. E ela é totalmente diferente. A Max é mais... É mais... Uma garota na sua, entendeu? Com os problemas da adolescência. Que apesar de Life Strange 1 ser bem mais pesado... Nas escolhas morais. Nós falamos... Eu já vou dar um pouco de spoiler. Mas não vou dar. Eu só vou dar mais ou menos os sentimentos. Existe sobre é, suicídio. É, o bullying. Entendeu? Existem umas coisas muito... Muito pesadas e você tem que decidir se você vai proteger a pessoa, você vai incentivar ela aí na polícia. Tem várias escolhas morais que eu vou mostrar pra vocês na próxima semana. E o interessante desse Life is Strange é que no primeiro com a Max, você tira fotos pra recordar da situação. E a Chloe é diferente, ela picha e tira sarro dos personagens, entendeu? Só que às vezes essas hey, coisas têm consequências. Entendeu? Cada situação sua tem uma situação <risos> desculpa, que vai mudar. Como todo adolescente, né? Quem nunca... A maioria dos adolescentes que nunca fugiu para ir num show. Mas... Quer dizer, a maioria muda e tal, mas... Muita... Muitos adolescentes fogem para ir em show, isso é normal. Aí, vamos ver, eu tenho que... Posso xingar o cara? Quer ver? Ó, vai aparecer aqui. God. Again? What do you want, kid? This is the old mill, right? I heard Firewalk is playing here tonight. They're awesome. Nope. Are you kidding? You should probably just go. Is that your bike over there? Yep. It's uh pretty cool. Gee, thanks. Is that all? E como não deu certo, vamos xingar. I have to convince this door stop that I'm not giving up until he lets me inside. Ah. Não bate boca seus argumentos e insultos para convencer alguém a fazer o que você quer. Vamos lá. Don't you remember what it's like to be a teenager? I just want to see the band. I thought we went over this. Isn't it past your bedtime? Ai, foi hora de dormir. Come on, bro. Do me Não. a solid, yo. Não deu certo, pera aí. Stop being cute and just split. Fofinha, que aí, fã. Look at my face. Do I look cute? Or do é I look like I'm going to kick your ass? <laughs> okay, kid. I get it. You're tough. Maybe I am a kid. Because this place looks like a damn playground to me. A girl like you? I can't protect you in there. A girl like you with pretty pretty flowers on her bicycle shouldn't lecture me on what I can do. That is a traditional Samoan. <laughs> Look, my boss decides who gets in, all right? Bosses suck. Screw the man and fuck the rules, dude. <laughs> okay, you're funny, but that's not the point. No, you can't spell fun without F U. You're, you're not accepting no for an answer, are you? No. <laughs> And you really think you can take me? Yep. What if I had a knife? No problem. A gun? Don't care. 
What if I had... You could have a flamethrower, an army of robot ninjas, and a motherfucking dragon on a leash in there, and I'd still kick your ass. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> You're right, kid. Go on. Pronto, aí, mano. Conseguimos, bora. Bora ver o show do Fireman. Do Fireman. Vamos lá. O símbolo da pirâmide, o olho que todo mundo vê. Todo mundo já sabe o que é. Nem precisamos conversar disso no canal. Né? This is intense. Oh, hey, Delia. Come. Aqueles bar underground bem pesados. Vamos dar uma olhada no parque e vamos ver o que tem. Just follow the lights and the sound. Can't wait to get in there and thrash. Será que o cachorro deixa fazer carinho? Deal. Doesn't usually like people. Yeah. Me neither. Agora vamos ver quem mais tem. That dog is fierce. Aí tem essa moça bêbada. So, You're missing the show. No, 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 no. Game in America again? Who is this guy? Quem mais nós temos aqui? Laca? Yeah. No shit. This car could slide down any minute. Looks like that parking brake is the only thing keeping that car from rolling down the ramp. Look, we have to set this up exactly as a That shirt is rad. No. No, 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 no. Is that guy selling Look, merch? We have to set this up exactly as a Wish I had to... hey. Are you selling 20 any bucks? What? 20 bucks for a t-shirt. That's really expensive. Dick. No, 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 no. Look, Sketch Central. It's not gonna take any more than an hour. Sweet knife. Just like the one my mom refused to get me for my birthday. Vamos lá, vamos pichar mais um. Dock workers laid off, their pensions canceled. God, Prescott's a real tool. Essa família Prescott é a família que tá dando maior problema lá nessa cidade. Conforme a gente vai avançando, você vai ver. Firewalk is tearing it up in the next room. Pegar uma cerveja. É não, pra geladinha. Bora pegar uma breja. Drink more. Nós no canal não defendemos bebidas para menores de idade, tá pessoal? Isso é só a escolha do jogo. Ao Frank, um ex-conhecido da. Pornografia, vamos falar com o Frank. Park for me every month for a year. Look at that get up, <laughs> studs. You're trying too hard. What are you even doing here? I'm here to see Firewalk, man. They rock. How'd you even hear about this little shindig? God, the internet. 
How else? Seriously? Fucking kids. Okay, so you holding? I could definitely use something to take the edge off. Of course. As soon as you give me the 175 bucks you owe me. Shit. Do I really owe him that much? Unless I find some quick cash around here, I can kiss my high goodbye. How about you spot me some? You know I'm good for it. <laughs> no way. I learned my lesson last time. Money first. Never mind, then. <sighs> Suit yourself. She returns. So, you come here a lot, or...? Yeah. Right. It's cool. I'm really glad you approve. I'll see you later. Whatever. Eu acho que se eu não me engano a gente podia puxar o freio de mão pra gente pegar essa camiseta. Hey, I told you 20 bucks. You looking to get beat? That guy's a dick. If I want a shirt, I'm going to need to get creative. Se eu não me engano a gente pegava aqui e a gente puxava o freio de mão. Sorry, dude. Maybe you shouldn't overcharge. E agora a gente pega a camisa. Oh, yeah. Sweet, sweet victory. That's like 200 bucks. Not worth it. These guys might burn me at the stake. Só a camisa já é suficiente. Agora puxou. Mas acho que acho que eu não consigo subir aqui. Half those stairs are rotted through. Looks dicey. Vamos ver se dá para subir no show aqui. Here we go. Vamos lá, bora. Bora, mano. Fuck off, man. Hey, you don't know who I am, do you? No. And I give zero shits. Hey, let me know how that works out for you, bitch. All right, mosh pit is a no go. Fine. É, vai ter que ser na escada. Maybe I can get a better view of the action from up above. Acho que dá para falar com o Frank de novo, peraí. She returns. Did you see that guy I ran into? Acted like I was supposed to know who the hell he was. Ah, uh, yeah. I know him. He works for Damon. Damon Merrick? I see you've heard of him. This is his place. Damon's a friend of mine. Where do those stairs go? Uh, up. No helpful, I'll help I mean... Will I get a better view of the band up there? How the fuck should I know? Floor above's rotted all to hell, okay? No one goes up there. Fine. I'll see you later. Whatever. Como eu falei, o jogo é bem adulto, né? Isso aqui são escolhas morais. E vamos seguindo a história da Chloe. E vamos vendo o que acontece. Esse jogo indie é bem adulto mesmo.
Pode até ficar que não vai ter problema nenhum. Mas ouvir música esquece. Eles dão strike, aí você tem que bloquear ou pelo menos cortar a cena da música. Por isso que às vezes muitos vídeos que vocês veem não tem som. Entendeu? Pelo menos essa experiência que eu estou tendo nessa situação que eu estou postando os vídeos novos né, no YouTube. Vamos ser honestos, nós tínhamos que atacar o cara O cara veio pra cima com nós Com uma garrafa quebrada Certo? A Square Enix faz bastante jogos bons Só que eu vou ser honesto com você Eu não acho Esse é um jogo muito bom Mas pra mim ah, não vale o preço que eles estão lançando esse novo True Colors. Eles estão vendendo aqui no Brasil 389 reais. Desculpa, ele é, um, ele é um jogo incrível, mas não vale esse preço. Não vale, isso são preços de jogos altos. Você viu a última decepção que foi o, o Cyberpunk. Todo mundo aguardou, acordou, infelizmente veio cheio de bugs, veio cheio de problemas. Teve milhões de devoluções, agora você vai achar na internet por 50 conto. Bora pra aula. Eu acho que tem aula, tem que ir pra aula. Vezes, tudo que eu quero fazer é fechar meus olhos. Os dias de rituais são importantes. Mesmo quando eles envolvem escrever letras unreadas para amigos que se esqueceram de você. Aqui é a Max. É uma grande amiga, ela foi embora. Depois tudo é explicado nos outros jogos, né? Hey Max. Hey. Hey Dad. Another day in paradise. Infelizmente, o, o pai dela teve um acidente de carro e morreu. Isso é tudo contado no primeiro no jogo. No jogo Live Strange 1. Eu tô fazendo esse Live Strange primeiro para vocês porque vocês têm que entender a história da Chloe até a gente chegar a ela e encontrar a Max, entendeu? Vamos ver o que tem aqui na. Né? Vamos ligar. Opa, é música? Vamos botar música. Better living through chemistry. That really was Rachel Amber. And she saved my life. How was last night even real? Ask Miss Arcadia. You're the only source of info I trust in this town. Wait, what? Who? What photo? Terrible news, my fellow Argonians. I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. Dad was so proud of me for winning that stupid science fair. <laughs> Bask, ye mortals, in the light of the glowy bear. Fun fact. Shark babies eat their siblings in the womb. Maybe that's why I'm an only child. Used to dream of riding a unicorn as a kid. But then all the unicorns died. I don't want to rasgar, I don't want to rasgar. Let's see what there is here. Max made me this mix CD years ago. And because it was Max, not a single song was pirated. As awesome as some of those shows with Elliot were, they were nothing compared to Firewalk last night. Mom said I was too young to go. She was wrong. And it was awesome. I used to love skateboarding. 
It's the only mode of transportation that doubles as a middle finger to authority. Um trocar de roupa. Opa, bônus. Vamos pegar da na aí vai provar que eu tava no show ontem. Vamos pegar essa borboleta. O que, que é? Vamos ver. Primeiro vamos ver qual que são as roupas, né, pessoal? Ah, essa mesmo. Dá para trocar, pera aí. Uh, I really should get going. Vamos mudar, vamos ver, vamos ver, vamos mostrar para vocês. Vamos com cor, vamos ver. Vamos ver o estilo que muda. Pera aí, vamos mudar, vamos ver qual que tem. Roupa bônus. Ah, é, tem essas coisas, né? Ah, você viu o nome da camisa? Eles nem escondem. Vou colocar do Firework lá. Essa aqui é a mesma, né? Roupa boa? Não. Ah, é, essa é Square Nix. É que eu comprei esse jogo na promoção que teve. Faz tempo já. Ele, tá, ele saiu por 20 conto. E vinha completo, entendeu? Não, vamos nessa estilo punk. Vamos lá. Vamos conhecer um pouco da casa da Chloe. Mom's phone is probably in her room. I can use it to call mine, then figure out where the hell I left it. Mom's hiding her gray hair to impress her boyfriend. Maybe gray hair's his kryptonite. Maybe I should dye my hair gray. The preferred towel of Captain Bluebeard, scourge of Arcadia Bay. Home sweet home. Whoever said you can't go home again was probably from Arcadia Bay. And he could go home again. He just didn't want to. How can mom look at this every day and not see what a tool she's dating? Sounds like my phone is definitely nearby. Oh, so like. There we go. Wonder how many calls I've missed. Chloe, breakfast. Bring my purse down with you, please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
I think I saw Mom's purse in her room. It's weird that Mom's always hoarding these old catalogs. It's not like we have any money. Sometimes you have to get knocked down lower than you've ever been to stand up taller than you ever were. Blech. Don't give up on yourself. A single spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. Better. enough that David comes here for dinner. I made this for mom when I was like 10 years old. If she wore it now. I hate that she hides all our old pictures of dad. What's the matter, mom? You don't want dad to see your new boyfriend? You don't deserve to be stuck in a drawer like this. A história da Chloe é bem triste, pessoal. Se vocês acompanharem depois, quando eu mostro para vocês live stream 1, vocês vão ver o quão triste é. É, as situações que as pessoas passam na vida, né? Fica muito difícil. A gente sempre acaba passando querendo ou não. I need to talk to you. Yeah. That really makes me want to hurt. Mom's old engagement ring. Grade B? Fuck you, Arcadia Pon. Wait. Mom's selling her engagement ring? A história é difícil para todo mundo, não tem como falar, né? Sempre vamos passar por algum drama na vida. Sempre. Essa, a história do jogo é bem simples e é bem estruturada ao mesmo tempo, entendeu? É um jogo indie, como eles dizem, bem forte. Vamos ver um pouco das coisas antes e tomar café. Now that David's staying over so much, I wonder how long it'll take mom to shove them in a drawer somewhere. It's not that I'm ungrateful. It's just that when your mom works in a diner, you're not always in the mood for diner type food. Pot roast? Mom hates pot roast. How can bacon smell so good, but I'd still rather stuff these sugar bombs in my mouth? Dad's old swear jar. We spent the last of his curses on bus fare and milk. Todas essas pequenas coisas têm simbologia no jogo, entendeu? Little dude's like, what the hell just happened? Made that for mom in an art class when I was like five. She was never a smoker, but it's cool. I was never an artist. Wait, those aren't mom's keys. And these would be David's keys. There's probably a better place for them than the ashtray I made mom. Like his home, maybe? It's my job to water these plants, but... It was Dad's job to remind me, so, from when Max and I spilled Mom's wine. I think the only reason Mom hasn't recarpeted is so she can stay mad at me. We're already supporting one. Thanks. Dad always talked about upgrading to a flat screen. Too bad that never happened. 
I would have gotten this bad boy in my room. Aren't you glad you left for Seattle, Max? Ali? <sighs> and never looked back? Family pick used to hang here. I... Wow. I can't actually remember which one. <laughs> Hard to believe I was an 8th grade science athlete. Did I peak in middle school? Any letter from Blackwell is never good. Mom doesn't want me to know, but it's pretty clear her boy toy, David, hasn't worked in like a year. Is mom having trouble with payments again? My scholarship doesn't cover everything. Like I need another reason for Principal Wells to get on my case. Vamos colocar a bolsa da mãe, da oh, Joyce. Eu não tenho tempo todo dia. Você vai chegar aqui já. Eu deveria ver o que a mãe quer antes de que ela se estrope. Ei, mãe. Você queria falar? Chloe, o que aconteceu com você? Não é um grande problema. Eu passei em uma porta. Você parece que você está passando em muitas portas ultimamente. When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need you to answer without the snark. Sorry. I hear you. I'll do better about replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? Ah, right. School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. I wish you wouldn't joke like that. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you? Saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe he can help.
dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such... What, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying. I guess. Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Mom, I know you're dealing with a lot. Thank you. I understand you don't need me as much anymore. But I need you. I do still need you. You're my mom. I'm proud of you for being so self-sufficient. But the whole world's not out to get you. Tell that to the world. You're impossible. But I love you. I love you too. Mm-hmm. Okay, David's waiting. You'll need to bring him his keys from the ashtray. Try not to kill each other. Got it. Unless he tries to give me advice. Or looks at me funny. Chloe. Or looks at me at all. Chloe. Mom. Have a good day. You too. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Opa, vamos ver, tem uma mensagem. I actually have to let this jack off drive me to school. This is my life now. Kill me. Piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. No, Mom. I swear he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Chloe, is that a black eye? No. Insubordination. No wonder your mother's worried about you. Oh, that's sweet. When I was your age, I got into my share of scraps. But it's not responsible. You owe it to your mother to do better. Tell me again what I owe my mother, dirtbag. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. What is this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get the... What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Should fill this with gasoline just in case David's car ever catches on fire. Yeah, the stereo used to be in Dad's workshop. I should hook it up in my room before garbage day gets it first. 
Dad's old camera. Do they even make film for these anymore? Uh-oh. Mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo Mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe Mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Fifty-fifty chance I smash him in the face with this. Sixty-forty. Maybe ninety-ten. Tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. So? You find the socket wrench set yet? You can do that one simple thing, can't you? A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. See what's gunking up the works there? That's a sign of carbon, carbon deposits. No shit. You know, you could actually be good at this if you lost the attitude. My attitude is what makes me special, David. All right. Fine, whatever. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> You've already got one, but thanks. <laughs> Ready to roll? Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. Please. I want to talk to you about something. Mm. Fuck! We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear about. I'm Shinga, Respect him? I think it's time I showed his ass how I'm not interested in anything he has to say. What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Shema Pell don't give a shit. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? You can't threaten me. Mm. You know how I know? Because you just try and fuck you. I can crap bigger than you. Just remember that. Oh, that's what I smell. A giant load of crap. You... your mother... You're breaking her heart. Leave mom out of this. This is about you and me and you being an asshole. I was in the army. You will respect me. You're not my father. Mm. You're not even on the same planet as my father. Wrong page. I won't stand for your disrespectful mouth. Regardless of the thing that unites us, gives us dignity, and we are better united than divided. Joyce, your mother, she's hurting, Chloe. Hurting for you. You've had it rough, no doubt about it. But all this staying out late, ignoring her command, drinking. Drug use. It's making everything harder. 
For her. You need to shape up. Get your act together. And put someone else first for a damn change. Am I making myself clear? Is it crazy if part of what David's saying makes sense to me? You don't know how lucky you are to have a mother like Joyce. She's an amazing woman. Coddles you, it's true. But it's only because she loves you. Problem is, you don't learn discipline that way. Give me one chance to show her how things could be, and you'll be singing a different tune. Mark my words. This isn't right. Dad, turn it up. Isso foi o que aconteceu de verdade com o pai da Chloe. Ele foi buscar a mãe dela, que a mãe dela estava no, no mercado fazendo compras, né? E eu não lembro se ele foi sozinho e deixou. É, ele foi sozinho buscar a mãe da a Joyce e infelizmente o o trem bateu no carro dele e ele faleceu na hora. E a Chloe, a Chloe ficou desesperada. É. E logo depois, vamos falar alguns meses depois, a melhor amiga dela, a Max, a família dela se mudou, então ela ficou sozinha, sem apoio, triste. A mãe dela tava de luto. Vamos me xingar o Dave, vai. Whatever. You're welcome. Aí apareceu o Dave, o Dave tem toda a disciplina pra Chloe. Ele é um cara ignorante, acabou ex-militar e tal. Só que depois no segundo jogo. É, vamos fazer assim, no segundo jogo, no Life Strange original Ele realmente faz de tudo pra proteger a Chloe Mesmo no jeito ignorante dele Ele faz de tudo pra proteger a Chloe Depois eu vou mostrar pra vocês a situação que acontece no final É que se eu der muito spoiler, ele vai estragar o barato, né? Vamos dar uma volta aqui antes de entrar Pra Arcade Bay Dá uma volta aqui pra conversar com os alunos, quem tá aí, quem não tá. Hey, Chloe. Oh. Hey, Elliot. Wait, what happened to your face? Do you need to go to the nurse or something? What? This? You should see the other guy. Guess it's true then. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about The Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. But sitting in the back row and making fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Hey, 
Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time before class. Eh, well, at least not for now. Maybe this play won't suck. Maybe. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance? Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. Hey, Skip. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. Oof. Looks like you did, though. Huh? Ah, right. Whatever. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So, I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a Firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What? Like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal or anything. I mean, I mean I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. Pisshead, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Yeah, okay. Great. Mais um momento para a gente bloquear a canção. A canção é boa. Oh, o tiozinho tem voz, hein? So, what did you think? That was really good, man. If Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. You're back. So, you spending a lot of quality time with Justin's mom? <laughs> no. But if you see Justin, tell him I can only ignore that cloud of weed smoke for so long. Tell him yourself, Skip. Not my problem. I'm trying to do him a favor. I thought you high risks all stuck together. High risks? Oh, shit. Sorry. Forget I called you that. Huh. High risks. Guess you can learn useful things in school. I've got to get to class. Let's talk later, Skip. Sure, Chloe. Hey, stay out of trouble. Professora. Good morning, Miss Professor de Química. Chloe, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Hmm. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. I wouldn't miss it for all the manganese in the world, Miss Grant. Your sincerity's overwhelming. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well... The Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. 
Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. I'll see you in class, right, Chloe? But fire's so pretty. I prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Opa, vamos pra lá. Vamos ver o que mais tem. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Vamos fazer um grafite, por que não? Last night's show was too epic. Caraca, olha só, que talento. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Vamos ver o que mais tem aqui. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Oh, diretor da escola. Principal Wells. Wells. Hi. Chloe Price. Is that a black eye? I'm. Uh, yep. I hope you know. That Blackwell provides confidential counseling services for all our students. We are a safe space for any issue. I'm good. It's the other guy who needed a safe space. From me. You never fail to conform to your reputation, do you? Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. I swear to you, I did not walk on that stage. It was more of a saunter. Do I look amused to you? I don't know. I've only seen you with one expression. That's the one. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? All right, sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. Mas só a gente não ir. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? Uh, the story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. 
I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. I really didn't mean anything. Garoto do skate, you Justin. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Damn, girl. That eye looks sick. What's going on? Dude, you need to freshen like a mofo. Are you? Saying I smell like weed? That's exactly what I'm saying. Word. Well, good looking out, Bryce. Want a hit? Like, right here? Thanks. Chloe, what's the latest? Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Oh, no shit. I thought that place was like, Matt Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are... Hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knobcone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knobcone again. No. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know... Interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Happy to support such an important cause. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Thanks so much for signing my petition. Smokeweed D. Bear? Only you can prevent ganja fires. <laughs> 